the job description for the full span of the parenting years. Birth of your first kid to launch of your last. You ready? <laughs> so exciting. Okay. So first, divide the job into two parts. Raising a human and being a human. And then each of those have four components. So raising a human. In order to raise happy, healthy, self-confident, successful adults, we as parents have to spend time on four kinds of activities. We have to spend time providing for our kids. Providing usually involves working, making money, managing money to pay for the things that kids need in life. We also have to spend time arranging the logistics of our kids' lives. Where are they going to go to school? How are they going to get there? What are they having for lunch? What are they doing after school? What are we having for dinner? Who is cooking the dinner? And who's cleaning up the dishes? Right? And so on and so on. Arranging. The next thing we have to spend time on is relating to our kids. That's, that's connecting. That one-on-one, -on -one, getting to know each of the children under your roof for the unique individual that they are. And we have to spend time teaching our kids, right? We, are, we have to teach them values and life skills so they can be successful in the world. Provide, arrange, relate, teach. That's four things. That spells an acronym PART, as in doing your part for another person. Okay? That's it. As parents, we are responsible for our children's well-being, but we are also responsible for our own. And in order to be happy, healthy, successful adults, we need to divide our time between four things, too. To be this one is sleep. Oh, yeah. Always gets a laugh. In a group of parents, you're like, oh, yeah, right. OK. Sleep. As challenging as it is to sleep a full night, an uninterrupted night, to get enough rest as a parent, no matter whether your kids are babies or teenagers and you're waiting up for them, Right? Like it never goes away. We were talking before. You think when your kids are babies, like, oh, I can't wait till they're like older and I'll get my life back. And then you're like, they're teenagers and you're sitting up waiting for them and you're worried. So sleep. We also have to invest time in exercise, right? You think about being a happy, healthy, successful, confident adult. Exercise. Another thing that's one of the first things to go as a parent, very hard to maintain, but exercise makes us feel fit. It gives us the energy to keep up with their kids. It keeps the brain and the oxygen flowing in the brain so that you can actually think clearly to solve all these problems your kids have, right? Because what is parenting other than a series of creative problem-solving challenges, right? Constantly, you need your rest to be able to do that well, and you need exercise, I think, to do that well. We also need to spend time on love, adult relationships, whether that is with a spouse or a circle of friends. Adult to adult relationships are critical to our ability to actually nurture our kids. It refills us. It fills a totally different function. We know that, right? Like, as great as it feels to love a kid, and you're really in a giving mode. And when it's adult to adult, there should be a give and take. And that is really important to nurture so that you can then nurture another. And fun. And fun, which is another one that sometimes gets a laugh. Parents are like, oh, yeah, that, I get to that when my kids go to college, right? Get back to fun. But fun is really essential. And I define fun as kind of hobbies or passions or pure relaxation that when you do it, you feel like you. And I think it's very critical to stay connected to who you are as an individual in order to be able to really recognize and cultivate the individual individuality in another. Right? When you put yourself on ice, which so many of my clients over the years have done, um, they just become all parent all the time, which honestly does not feel good to the kids. It doesn't. I can't tell you how many adult clients I've had. It was like, my mom was, uh, I was, at, the kids were her everything. And when we left, she was devastated. She had nothing of her own. 
kids really benefit from knowing that you are a whole person too and an individual so that they can both connect to you and also go away and still come back and it's not all kids all the time. So that sleep, exercise, love, fun also spells an acronym. Anybody got that one? Self, as in fueling yourself. 